We have with us in the studio Mohammed Chowdhury, the Executive Director of Bangladesh Bank, who's flown all the way from Dhaka to be with us in Geneva for this meeting of the focus group on digital financial services at the ITU. Hello, Mr Chowdhury. Hello, you're fine. Now, Mr Chowdhury, I'd really like to get your perspective of the situation regarding financial exclusion in Bangladesh. Uh, how many people are not having currently access to banking services? Uh, more than 70% people are still out of the banking networks. And so given that there are so many people, such a large proportion of the population which doesn't have access, are you confident that digital financial services are going to make a big difference? Of course, uh, it will make a ma big difference because uh, it has the uh, technology is also there and the, the people, especially the rural people, they will be able to use it and so that uh, with the use of this uh, financial service, the, uh, the economic activities will be, uh, will be enhanced and there will be growth in our economy. And have you seen this process begin already? Are there already areas uh, in Bangladesh where uh, people are using their mobile phones to access some form of financial service? Okay, they are al already using the mobile financial service. Uh, they are, you see, uh, people from people working in the uh, cities and towns, they are sending money to their families with the mobile accounts. Uh, other than uh, rural areas, in the cities also and in the, in the villages also, people can send the uh, tuition fees or the uh, application form fees through the mobile network. On the other hand, uh, the our, our payment system, everything is improved now, digitalized, and uh, we have uh, uh, electronic fund transfer system is also there, automatic clearing house is there, so uh, a lot of uh, innovation is there. So you're confident that this really will be a tool for development in Bangladesh? Sure, sure. We, we, we are much more confident. Uh, but what are the barriers? What's holding this back? Okay, uh, um, right now the, there is not that much barrier, but you see that the, as the rural people are using is the, the, the software, the system must be a bit the user friendly, it should be. Moreover, the lack of awareness is also there. And uh, I, I think that if uh, necessary, the, uh, some regulation may also be uh, just, uh, uh, we, we can think about it also. And what's your role, the role of Bangladesh Bank? Uh, Bangladesh Bank, we, we the central bank, we are controlling, as it is a uh, bank-led financial uh, services. So uh, we regulate things, we have the supervisory authority we, uh, we, our supervision um, system, ca we can go there and can control. We have our uh, anti-monitoring departments also. So in that respect also, uh, um, we, we, we can monitor uh, every activities. And how difficult is it for Bangladesh Bank to draft regulation that is keeping up with the technology? Actually, not difficult. We, we have already uh, drafted a, a regulation a bit uh, more f uh, more user, f more friendly for the investors, and we, we talk with uh, every stakeholders, and we, we are going to implement it. Now we're speaking, as I said, in Geneva at the ITU studios, and you've been taking part in this uh, first day session. What, for you, is the benefit for Bangladesh of being involved in this kind of process? Sure, we, we have a, you see, we have a department like financial inclusion department. We. Uh, uh, work with the, what what we work we work with the rural peoples, with the agricultural farmers, with the school going boys, with the we have a no free uh, accounts is also we have a ten tak accounts for the uh, village farmers. We we have also account facilities for the uh, street boys, so that they can have an account. So if this uh, mobile uh, financial service improves. All these peoples will, will can be activated, and all these uh, this financial activities will f finally enhance our economic growth. I think. And what can the focus group here, at the Digital Financial Services Focus Group, what can that exactly do to to help that process? Okay, th they'll they'll find out uh, w what we are lacking, what we need to do. Finally, when going back, we can re rethink. We can review our activities. We can we try to improve. We can try to be along with other uh, advanced countries like that. 
And has it been useful not just for, for different uh, policy makers but also for private enterprise as well? Here at the ITU there's a mix of legislators, regulators and private en enterprise. Has that been useful for you as well? Of course. Uh, you, you see, uh, in our country, you say, we are, I have al already said that uh, we have the uh, free market economy. So we, we just uh, encourage investors to go uh, come to our country, invest in our country. And uh, there is uh, the foreign exchange regulation is very friendly. They can bring money, they can bring out money. So we want that also. On the, on the other hand, we want uh, the improvement of our technology and our economy also. So, so the message is whilst 70% of people yeah. without financial services, it's a, a long way to go, but it's also an opportunity. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. In, okay, we have, a, we have 56 banks. It's increasing now. They are also digitalized. They are going to be digitalized. As soon, within a short period, uh, the, uh, much more people will become under the banking network. And we are encouraging to open bank in the rural areas also. And we have also introduced the ASEAN banking system. The uh, ASEAN banking means the bank can appoint some other small uh, ASEANs as to work uh, for him. Within this area, what's, what's your aim? What's your goal? How, how far down do you want to bring that percentage of people who are not currently accessing banking services? Oh, we, we, our, we have a very uh, a sky high <laughs> goal. You see, we want to bring, uh, m see, more, uh, we want to bring 75% uh, of the people to, uh, we want, actually, we want to bring 100, but we can't do it uh, with, with a few years, but uh, at, at least 75% should be, in the because uh, otherwise, the, our aim, our aim is to be uh, the middle income group country in two, 220, and, uh, and uh, 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 improve our qu quality from the, that rank to a uh, higher rank. Well, well, let's hope that uh, these kind of services can make a big improvement there. Sure, it, 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 this because this is uh, a very um, fruitful for the uh, women entrepreneurs, the, uh, those are living in the villages, even the businessman. He can um, just send money to anywhere, he can bring money. So the economic activities get a pace is getting a speed. So within a short period, uh, early days, they have to wait for a month long when the, uh, the uh, family had come, bring money with him, and they will uh, do their own work. But now, the family chief, if he, he is living in, in the town, he can send money every day. Electronically. Yeah, electronically. On the, on the other hand, we also want a uh, we want we our one of the other aim is to have a cashless society. We have an uh, we want uh, green banking. We have introduced green banking. We don't want paper money. We don't want waste papers. So uh, this will also help in in the sense of the improving our environment also. Well, Mr. Chowdhury, thank you very much for talking to us. Th today. Thank you very much.